Hey, welcome everybody and happy new year. Yes, we have made it through another whole year, huh? And it's been one heck of a year, hasn't it? There's been a lot of good things that's happened. There's been a lot of bad things that's happened. The good, the bad, the ugly, you know. But we've all made it through another year. And we're looking forward to the next year and hopefully that it's going to be a better year than this year. We can only hope and pray. But today's video isn't about next year. Today's video is about the 2021 review on this channel and what I am so thankful for in everyone out there and how you have supported my channel. And I just want to let everybody know how much I appreciate everything that you do for my channel. I thank all the moderators that are on my channel when I was doing my live streams that I'm going to be talking about in a minute. I also want to thank everybody that subscribed to my channel. Uh, my subscriptions in the last year have practically doubled. They went up 1,727 subscribers in a year. And for a small channel like me, that's pretty good. I feel that I'm slowly working my way up. I'm not looking for fame and fortune. I'm looking to make sure that I get good quality information out there to help all you people out. And that's what I'm here for. So as we slowly grow and we are growing and I have big plans for this coming year, we are really approaching a lot of different milestones. Um, over this past year, I have grown 15, over 15,000 watch time hours, which is phenomenal. And over 141,000 views on my channel just in this last year. Thank you all very, very much. I really, really do appreciate that. Now, <clears throat> make sure you stay tuned to the end because I want to talk about a lot of the big changes that I have coming up for this upcoming year. Um, there's going to be a lot of different things. I did put a post out in the community tab. Now you all need to go there and vote on what you want to see different things. There's five different topics on there that you all can choose from. Quite a few of you have already gone in there. I'm trying to get more ideas and things to bring you more information on what you want to see on this channel. And we're going to base things off of that. So make sure that you go to the community tab, go to my home page, go to the community tab and scroll down just a little bit. And you're going to see there's a poll there and you can read the instructions and then vote for what you would like to vote for. That would be greatly appreciated and help me to help you. Okay. That's what I'm trying to do. I want to get a, a census of what you people really want more information about. And I'm going to try to concentrate on doing some of that stuff. So let's get right into some of the, the top videos of this year. Now, uh, the number one video on my channel, it really blew up this year, this past year. Um, I think a lot of people are really looking to try to store food and everything else. And you people really need to stay on top of doing that at this point in time. But the top video on my channel was DIY how to store rice long term the right way. And let's just take a quick look at that video. So you asked me, how do I store my rice? What's the best way to store rice? I bought a 25 pound bag. Do I just take and put it in a bucket in a five gallon Marlar bag and put oxygen absorbers in there? I'm gonna tell you why I don't do that. Whatever, all I have to do is use my handy dandy little lid opener. But just remember one thing, if you're storing it like this, or if you're putting it inside a Marlar bag, it doesn't need to be a food grade bucket. Now, as you can see in that video, you have to go back and you can search that video. It's the number one video on my channel. And I'm trying to get across, there's a lot of different ways that you can store your rice. Now, it just isn't your rice. You can, you can put in place a lot of the products that you store in vacuum seal bags and Marlar bags, however you wanna do it. You can store it in different increments. This way here, you have it so that if you needed to barter, if you needed to uh, 
give a little bit to someone or something else you don't have all your stuff all your products and everything else all in one basket if you get what I'm saying so this goes a long ways now the number two video now I got criticized on this video but the number two video this year was quitting prepping I'm done now a lot of people were just like oh clip bait clip bait you know all this kind of stuff you missed the point the point of the video well here let's watch this first those two seems like you know you start prepping and everything and you just run out of all this room I just don't know what to do this is just getting insane what in the world did I get myself into I just I tell you I've prepped and prepped and prepped but now I don't have room and we're gonna do we just throw it out the door no we can't do that so we're gonna be now the point of this video was how people can get discouraged and how people can give up and why you don't want to do that that was the point of the video it wasn't a clickbait video it's not like it went viral and I, I got like 50,000 views on this thing you know the point of it was was to bring awareness of what you probably could be feeling especially if you're new to prepping and how overwhelming that, that this can be and why you need to stay prepping and being prepared that was the whole point of that video now number three was how to how to vacuum pack chicken and my tips and tricks now everybody loved that video they actually the tip that they really loved was well here watch okay now I want to show you a quick trick on what I do and I use clean wrap so you take your counter make sure it's nice and clean Gonna process my chicken and get it ready to vacuum pack. Put that down there. If you have it, put that on there. I hate plastic wrap, but this works really well. My wife came up with this idea. <clears throat> this is about all we use the plastic wrap for. So now you have a nice surface here that helps protect your surface below. Like I said, I just use regular old clean wrap. Now, as you can see, that's a great tip on how I do my chicken but you can do that with all your meat I mean it doesn't matter if it's chicken uh, beef uh, say you're doing fish whatever if you use the cellophane and you put the plastic wrap and you put it down on your counters and stuff it makes for an easy cleanup and you don't have to worry about contaminating your counters now yes when I'm done I still clean the counters because you never know what something to leak down through or whatever so you always want to make sure that you sanitize your area once you're done doing whatever you're doing with your meats doesn't matter what it is from chicken red meats pork fish whatever it is make sure that you're always cleaning up after yourself but that's a great tip and it helps keep things less messy if you know what I'm saying now the number four video on my channel this year has to do with hurricanes now as you all know I do live in a hurricane prone area and I've got a lot of different videos on how to prepare for hurricanes so if you're new to the area if you're new to a hurricane area this video was perfect now something to remember is let's watch this right now now if you were live in a hurricane prone area and you do get hurricanes now also remember it's not just for along the coast because the hurricanes once they push ashore they bring a whole different dynamic to what happens 
inland compared to what happens at the shore. No, you still can get the winds. You get the really heavy flooding, especially when these things crashed in through to the mountains because it drops even more rain. It just makes more of a huge headache. So just because you don't live along the coast doesn't mean you can't get a hurricane. If you live anywhere within a 200 mile radius from the coast of any given point between the Gulf and the Atlantic side, even over on the Pacific side, which is a rare form to come in back that way, nowadays anything is possible. This is why you need to be prepared. So let's get going on this list. Now this, so as you can see, it doesn't matter if you live right along the coast. You, if you live within so many miles of the coast and stuff, you still have to prepare and be ready because it just doesn't affect the coast. It goes all the way in. That's the point I'm trying to get across. And, you know, it, it's just an awareness piece to try to keep you safe. Now, number five was uh, I was actually driving to work and as many of you know maybe you don't know I am a man in brown I'm a UPS driver and I have been a UPS driver for very long time and I was on my way to work when this was breaking come over the news so when I got to work I did a quick live video on that and it was called the massive internet shortages and outages this morning and that was an awareness piece. I try, it's very difficult for me because of the hours and stuff that I work to get you the breaking news and everything else like a lot of channels do. I try to do my best, but it doesn't always work that way because I don't have the time. I can't just stop and if you know anything about it, being a UPS driver, you'll understand. There's more to it than just delivering the brown boxes. So it's very difficult just to stop and shoot videos and this kind of stuff you can't do it but i wanted to bring that awareness to you and it was something like this attention to the news because this morning there was a massive internet outage throughout the whole world folks and they don't know if it's a cyber attack if it's a glitch in the system if the system shut down it was through this company called fastly and they so as you can see, I, I was just trying to bring information and everything to you that was breaking that just came over the radio. I mean, I literally heard that 10 minutes before I got to work. When I pulled in the parking lot, parked the car, I shot the video and put it up. And it got a huge amount of views and stuff in the same day just because it was a hot topic. And I really appreciate that from a lot of people. The thing of it is, is... I'm trying to make sure that you're always aware of a lot of things. Now, a lot of people don't like some of the videos I do, and a lot of people like the videos I do. So, you know, you can't please everybody all the time. I try, but you just can't do it. It just doesn't happen that way. So that's one of the reasons why I did the poll. Now make sure you guys go back, make, like I said in the beginning, go to the community tab and vote in there on things that you'd like to see on this channel and i'm going to do my best to produce a lot of videos and things of that nature now let's talk about some of the big changes that are going to be coming up i'm going to start my live streams back up starting this saturday tomorrow all right <clears throat> at four o'clock in the afternoon now maybe tomorrow a lot of you people still may be sleeping but hey you know but we're going to start doing my live streams again. I've got away from it and um, I've, I've got to make the time and I want to do it. I want to interact with everybody, answer questions and whatever else may come up. I want to start doing the giveaways again. I want to start acknowledging people that are commenting all the time on my channel and they're following the channel and everything else. I want to make sure that you are recognized. I also want to start trying to do um, more videos that you want to see i have invested in some new camera equipment should be here this coming week so there's a lot of different things that are going to be taking place i have a lot of great ideas for this channel on the way that i want it to go i have a lot of great things that i want to bring you i also want to make sure that i'm bringing you good quality videos i'm going to try to make sure that i at least have two videos a week that it will be coming out 
and those will be on Wednesday and Friday and if I do do a bonus one that'll be on Monday so always look for my videos on Wednesday and Friday and they're gonna come out at 5 o'clock on those days so they'll come out at 5 o'clock on Wednesday 5 o'clock on Friday just so you all know what the scheduling is so once again I wish everybody a happy new year I hope that you had a wonderful Christmas and got to spend time with your friends, families, and loved ones. And I want everybody to concentrate and try to be positive coming into this new year. Even though it seems like everything is falling apart and crumbling all around us, but we have to try to keep a ray of hope. Now, that doesn't mean that, you know, when I do videos and stuff, I'm not going to bring you bad news or news that you need to be aware of because you need to be aware of what is going on and what is taking place around you so that you can stay ahead of the game and so that you can stay prepared i want to see this channel grow but i also want to make sure that you're all prepared i want to make sure that you're all ready so no matter what happens in this next coming year we can all weather the storm, folks. As I said before, there is a big storm brewing. And unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's going to start off really well, if you get what I'm saying. But if we stay positive, we stay prepped, we keep our eye on the ball, we can all weather the storm. There's no reason why, no matter what happens, we can't survive no matter where we live in this world if you have the will to survive you'll survive one way or another it is the genetic part of our body that keeps us going and through the good lord above watching over all of us and guiding us we'll be just fine so once again, I thank everybody for everything that you've done for this channel this year. Happy New Year. Enjoy yourself. Drink responsibly. This way here I get my little plug in there. All right. No drinking and driving because all the cops are out tonight. All right. So make sure that you're being responsible. Have a great New Year. And I can't wait to see you tomorrow on my live stream at 4 o'clock. That'll be every Saturday at 4 o'clock. Till then, folks, I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you once again for everything that you do for this channel and for all the likes, subscriptions, watch time hours, views, and everything else that you've done for this channel. I greatly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart because... Without you, we wouldn't be here. Till next time, I will catch all of you on the flip side.